Hey everyone, I uh, want to do a video today on what I like about Periscope. I've uh, been on Periscope for just over two years now, and uh, it kind of at the time it came out, it was a pretty cool concept. It was just cutting edge. Uh, Facebook video and Facebook Live were, I think, even a year away from at least six months away from even being kind of cool. Uh, Big Dog Outdoors, good to see ya. Curious to see if you've been on here before. It's new. Hashem FDD, good to see ya. So, yeah, Periscope. Um, for, I don't know, I'd be curious to know how many of you guys were on here, uh, you know, a year ago, two years ago when Periscope was first coming out. Um, let's call it summer. I did some blog, a lot of blog posts on my runner.com blog. And so it goes back a couple years now. And, uh, at the time, I mean, I was super excited about it. What I I did a lot of walking and periscopes, and what I learned was it just ate up a lot of data, and I still learn that to this day. Uh, the connectivity, I would say, is improved quite a bit. Um, the quality is is better. Um, there's a more consistent experience on it as well. Um, I know back at the time, it was one of those things where Twitter acquired Periscope, and you're like, what's going on and stuff, and it was kind of like. You know, I want to get some followers. I want to build this platform. It seemed like it eventually got to the point where, like, Twitter was where you basically held all the followers. But then I kind of got off of it a lot. So I'm good to see you. Um, the last year I didn't get on there that much. It does feel like Facebook video kind of took over um, for about the last year. I've been pretty solid on that. Oh, Algeria, huh? Um, I've been pretty concentrated in the last year on, like, the Facebook video. And then... You know the Facebook invite or Facebook Live. Um, I didn't really play around with that much, but um, be quicker. Good to see ya. Uh, I didn't play around with that very much, and um, I'm great. Good to see you, Usam. Um, I didn't play around with that that much. The live part of it, I was definitely doing the videos, and the live part was uh, not something I really took off on because I, I saw it more as like a selfie, where it was just in the moment. And I didn't really get it, um, but. As of recently, I think this actually started in April, but I really started to catch on the last week or week and a half, probably the last week. Um, the Facebook Live with invites now, where it's kind of like tagging that we had five, six years ago, but instead of being spammy, where you're actually inviting the other people on, and it's just one of those things where people have to warm up to the idea. But if I invite you on here and we do like a round robin on Facebook Live, then they don't have this on Periscope yet. They should add it on Periscope. But what will end up happening is I, your audience and your audience and your audience will all see all of us live on there and depending on who's live on the split screen at that time and that's a tremendous opportunity to build retention with your friends get referrals uh, acquisition new traffic um, you're not just talking about like 50 views or 70 views on a newer social network Instagram or some other thing you're talking about people who have been building up relationships on Facebook for almost a decade and off Facebook for maybe a decade or two decades. So there's a lot of strength and integrity in those relationships and you're tapping into those relationships. So all views are not counted the same. So if you and I both get on and one other person gets on Facebook Live and we have three of us on there, um, that could be 200 views, right? And there's a lot of integrity with that. So. Um, it's a good chance for us all to be one degree of separation and friends of friends and so forth. So I know this Periscope is actually supposed to be about Periscope, not Facebook Live. That's one thing I like about Facebook Live. But um, that's why I haven't been on Periscope as much. But again, getting back to Periscope, what I like about Periscope is because it's so closely tied to Twitter, you put in the hashtags in your title. And your title's only so long, you don't really put content in or anything like that. Um, I've never really tracked it recently as far as if the followers are native to Periscope or if they're actually uh, connected to Twitter. Um, I mean, they're mostly connected to Twitter. So uh, the other thing I haven't been able to check either is the allocation of when you get everyone to jump on, how many of them are from Twitter and then how many of them are just new people from the Periscope ecosystem. And I find that very interesting as well. Um, so I would say that the fact that I get more people engaging and more people commenting on Periscope, uh, that's another reason that Periscope is really great. Um, you, you know, you can block people if you get the wrong people or whatever. Facebook Live's a little bit better than that. 
better in the in the way that they're people that you actually know and you're not going to get trolls and stuff. Whereas on Periscope, I mean, you do get some trolls. I mean, that's unfortunate. Um, but you get some new traffic as well, so that's that's pretty key too. It's a good chance to get to know people and, you know, ask questions. And again, I'm asking you guys, you know, how long you've been on Periscope and so forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube and I'll go ahead and put it on Facebook uh, as well. And people get a chance to check this out. Because I know a lot of people out there don't still know about Periscope or they don't know about some of the advantages of Periscope. Um, you can and you can see how long people are on the broadcast, how long they watch for. Um, that data um, used to crash a lot. It wasn't very good in the first year or so on Periscope. It's really improved a lot more for those just coming on Periscope now. Um, I know Facebook's really big on paid traffic. Uh, they own Instagram, so they're really big on paid traffic as well. My take on paid traffic is it still comes down to a sales cycle. Sometimes sales cycles are very long, like in real estate, which comes down to cash flow. And I think. You know, you can get some initial leads, but you still got to follow up them for a long time. There's still some one-on-one -on -one selling and customer relationship management, some of that kind of stuff. Um, I would say the number one thing I see on a lot of people's Periscope is that there's just a lot of engagement, a lot of people talking, and that builds up over time if you're just consistent with it. Um, I personally also, here's another thing too, is back when I was doing these back, back in the day, they disappeared after about 24 hours. Now they feel like they disappeared after about 48 hours. And the other thing too I've noticed is they, maybe this was six months ago or nine months ago, they started to put these onto Twitter. Now your video actually shows up on Twitter so you can actually search it in the feed. I really like that a lot because there's a lot more context to it. So when you get followers on Twitter now, you're not only getting them um, from the hashtags that you're putting in the title, you're actually getting them also from the videos and from them watching the videos. So I think that makes the followers on Twitter a lot stronger as well. So, and again, you know, like long tail SEO, search engine optimization, you have um, the right people that you're targeting when you're using the keywords and the headlines as well. So I specifically don't just use stuff like only SEO or email signups or just internet marketing. I specifically got over the, uh, after the vertical of real estate investing just because I think the lifetime value of a customer and it's got the investor mindset and it's got more of the people that I'm looking for. So, um, you know, feel free to ask any questions if you want. I'm curious how many times you've seen me on video here. Uh, let's chat some more. I'm going to be doing some more videos on some other topics, Instagram and YouTube. Uh, Facebook Live and what I like about a lot of the different social media tools that are out there nowadays, different platforms, and I'll give you my opinions and takes on a lot of them. And um, I think I'll wrap up this video with probably my favorite thing about Periscope right now that I find different than all the other social network platforms. And we were talking about paid traffic earlier. Well, again, I don't know the allocation on this, but um, I have noticed that people that do I have noticed that Periscope, and, and this is true with Facebook too, so I should back up a minute. If you do a Facebook Live, okay, so if you do a Facebook, because keep in mind, if you have a couple thousand friends, they're going to be on at different times. People are on their smartphone all the time. They're just going to be jumping on the Facebook Lives at different times, depending on if they're on appointments or whatever's going on. So if you do a five-minute Facebook Live, I mean, you might have like 15 people on, whereas if you do an hour Facebook Live, you might have 100 people on, right? So you definitely have more people on if you stay on longer. But here's the thing, those are probably people that already know who you are. That Because you, you only get so many friend requests, right? But the beauty about Periscope is, um, are, are you good to see it? Um, the thing that's really nice about Periscope is, Haas, good to see it, is when you hear of Dominican, what do you think about? Just answer the question, Dominican. Uh, if you're talking about Dominican Republic, I just saw an article yesterday on it. It said it was... Uh, the third city after Venezuela and El Salvador, it said it was the third city uh, where people feel the least safe on the street. Um, but yeah, I, I know a couple guys in town from the Dominican Republic. Um, but other than that, I just want to say the one thing I do like um, about Periscope is if you stay on long enough, um, you will get a lot more people to jump on and you don't necessarily uh, know the people. They're not necessarily followers on Twitter, but they could be new people and it could be new traffic. And so I've noticed people on Periscope who do videos that are like an hour long, hour and a half long, they get four or 500 people on here. So I think that's one advantage of Periscope is I think on other social networks, people feel like I should just do one for like 10 minutes. 
But on here, they might feel like they should do it for like an hour because they can get four or five hundred people on. So that's a huge advantage that Periscope has. Um, other than that, um, I hope you guys are having a good day. I am going to uh, do some more of these Periscopes. So we'll be on some other topics. And you guys uh, have a good night. Bye.